shall begin. Back into Chult. Here we go. Our, our TV turns on, just like it did before. We get our, our, our title screen when last we saw our heroes. But this time it's different. This time, all it's all jungle themed with like plants trailing off the litters <laughs> and like little, little weeds growing on it and stuff. But we zoom through it all the same. Uh, we get our first recap shot of our human members of the party outside Wakonga's villa in the rain as the camera pans over to the villa itself, cutting inside to War and Ryok talking to Samuel Dren in his new study and explaining the disturbing vision to him in detail as he scrambles to take notes of what you saw in the Temple of Savros. We then jump cut to a scene outside of Kaya's House of Repose as the party accepts Iku into, uh, into their, uh, as their guide in the jungles of Chult. We get that magic sparkle in her eyes as she graciously accepts the job. We then smash cut again to a huge establishing shot overhead of the Grand Sook and uh, the major, it's the major shopping center of the port, if you recall. We see the characters strapping up with new gear and selling old gear, each, uh, each, each player, each character being checked over by Iku to make sure that you're ready for your jungle expedition. We see them all, all of our characters, toast to their journey with some flagons of Tej being shared among you, uh, a local drink of Port Nianzaru, and a war as well, receiving that painted canoe from Alexandria. I had that scene pretty pretty, pretty <laughs> dug in my head, if you only like, ta-da, because he said it was right. like a little fortune moment. <laughs> that was great. Uh, we jump cut to the Hall of Gold, the temple to Joaquin, god of commerce, as we see Iku receive, uh, receiving payment from the party and then quickly donating every piece of it to the temple's charity bin. We see the dark elf tellers uh, servicing the party as they exchange gold and open accounts uh, in the name of Joaquin's holiness. Uh, we jump cut again to the party leaving through the old city gates as Alexandria gets separated from the party, Kyle's character, by a rogue crowd that just sort of came out of nowhere, uh, seemingly to separate her from you guys. Uh, we see her uh, conf confronted alone in a dark alleyway that she was essentially pushed into by a tall hooded stranger uh, uh, warning her to either steal better or steal not at all, as the beggar princes are always watching. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we jump cut uh, to later that night as the party makes their first camp in the jungle with Iku's guide guidance. We see the group gathered around the camps, the campfire as the party explains in more detail the vision that they saw in the Temple of Savros and the goals that they have set for themselves for this first expedition. Iku explained to the, uh, all of you that she knew of the place of which the vision had been located, uh, a lost city known as Omu, an ancient capital of Chult, lost forever after its downfall uh, hundreds of years ago in, its, in, in Chult's endless jungles. Uh, Iku explained that she did not know where Omu was. It is a lost city, but she knew of only one who would. The Oracle of Oralunga. Uh, travel there will take some time and pass by some locations that the party already had planned to explore. Uh, so that worked out. And with the River Soshin Star as, uh, as your guide, the first trek of the journey can be made by canoe, so at, at a bit faster. Um, and so guys that's our recap we get our first shot of episode four an establishing shot facing north to port nianzaru um with the jungle wrapping its way closer around the settlement threatening to choke it and the river soshin star piercing back from the bay of chalt into the southern jungle like a spear being buried into the rough hide of a wild boar and we get our title screen um and then we cut to the party. Uh, your first night sleeping in the jungle went about as well as you would imagine a night sleeping in the jungle would go. Uh, not a little uncomfortable. Uh, you're probably a little wet, a little sore. There's bugs everywhere. You definitely, somebody spent a block of incense. They would have had to or else you would have not slept. The bugs are insane here, even even in the rain. Um, uh, so yeah, it's, it's a brand new day. Uh, now, did anybody, did any of you remember if you, if anyone in the party had spent an incense block last episode? I don't think I did. 
Uh, if somebody would like to, that would be great. Just somebody spend one incense block because you would have you. I imagine you would have used that. Like it's like I don't want to wait for you guys to say I use an incense block because I literally, if that's the case, every time I'm just gonna be like, by the way, you don't get to sleep. There's bugs everywhere. <laughs> Are you gonna use that block? <laughs> I don't want to do that. But so this brand new day, the first thing we're gonna do is the weather. But then I want uh, I want to. We'll step into you guys, uh, like, like talking. So let's let's have the weather establish uh, establish uh, the, this first scene that we do. Um, here we go. Weather roll. It is the regular season. It's dry and sunny. Thank God. That's the <laughs> real one. What the fuck? Are rare. Iku and, uh, was right. Iku's right. It's dry and sunny. It's a ninety degree day, so it's uh, it's not too super. It's not too super hot. I mean, it is. It's hot, but like it can, it can get a hell of a lot hotter in Chol. Yeah. So yeah, it's a 90 degree day. It's dry and sunny. I don't have to change the music or nothing. The rain has let up. Uh, the sun is 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 blaring down. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Um, uh, but you are in the jungle. So we zoom in on our characters. What are you guys? What are you guys doing? Discussions as we as we as we make as we clean up camp. I discussed that about how the director had so many jump cuts in a row. I'm not sure. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no! I said before that I was doing, I was doing that Game of Thrones style, and they jump cut all their recaps, just like yeah. boom, boom, yeah. boom. Next scene, next scene. That's yeah. how I'm doing it. Don't pick on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a uh, routine, and I'm keeping to it. <laughs> how? Who had the right. the message stone? I don't know. Uh, who, that got thrown to you, War. It got thrown to me, but I immediately passed it off to somebody else. Riak. No, oh, good. <laughs> who has who has faded into the background, by the way. Uh, if, if, the, if people don't already know, uh, Dustin will be here at 930. Um, so he, will, he won't be here for a little while. He's fading into the background, but one of you, if it's an essential item, one of you can have it. Okay. Uh, for the moment. Okay, getting into the character a little bit. Uh, no problem. We should probably send Samuel a message about Omu. That's the first lead that we have. And maybe wow. let him know that we're heading to Oralunga to figure out where. I agree. I won't stop you. Okay. <laughs> I don't have the stone. Does anyone know how to use this thing? <laughs> no. Ika's just kind of like watching. <laughs> He's just sort of like watching how you guys how you guys work a little bit. I'm sure, you just shake it a little bit. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what? Here, just, just give it to me. I'll I'll do it. Okay. It's, could somebody post the message spell? My uh, my compendium isn't working. Uh, I believe that the mess just like copy paste it for me into chat because I believe a message spell is limited to a certain amount of words. Um, yeah, I got it. Yeah, please post. Oh. Appreciate. I copied and pasted enough. it, but <laughs> it's all good. Um, so this is like th th this doesn't apply to like the the range or anything. It's just everything else is normal. Uh, I cast this spell through. Three feet. Spell isn't so. Yeah, you point a finger in range to target. Whisper a message. Only the target hears the message. It doesn't look like it has a limit. It's a duration of one round. So I would say that's kind of how this rock is working. And it's just like one round message sent to him. Um, so I would say like whatever you think you can say in in six seconds. I'd say probably fifteen to twenty words. Is probably fine. So uh, what am I telling him again? Uh, the city is Omu, which. And then we're going to Oralunga to figure out where it is. And if you have any more time, you could say that Omu is uh, before. What was it? Uh, it was pre Omnian Empire, but. Mm. <clears throat> Death Breath. We're heading to Oralunga. Wish us luck. You didn't right. tell him the most important part. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What was the most important part? 
the I city, thought it was where we were going. The city is called Omu. Make an arcana check for me, Alexandria, really quick. Before you say your next message. <laughs> <laughs> this, is your, this, is, this is your first time you guys have interacted with this device. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, you're, um, uh, I, I think I think you I, if anything with that with a seven is enough is enough to know that this has ex like you have you have used this item and it has it has used it has used magic. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Great. Well, it's working. It is working. <laughs> I missed the Your message was sent. That's what you know. Addendum. It's really old. Over. <laughs> Can you make another? So, did you send a second message? Yes. Can you make another arcana check for me? Okay. All right, a ten. Uh, uh, I would say a ten is enough to know that that ha that your device has three charges left on it. Well, it uh, has three charges left, so. I think that'll be enough for now. Yeah, we can wait per for now. Permanently? Is... Permanent? No, it will um... it will refresh upon the <laughs> rising or setting of the sun. One of the two. Uh yeah, with, with, a ten, with a ten you can assume you can you can assume that, that might be that might be the case, yeah. Yes, I am assuming because I am at least moderately knowledgeable in okay. magic things. Yeah. Okay. So if they do refresh, it will at sundown. Or sunrise. No sending messages in between sunset and sunrise. <laughs> um, <laughs> so as Iku sort of watches this, he just goes, Are you... Did you... Did you... Are we good? <laughs> <laughs> just, did, did you get done what you needed to get done? <laughs> I believe so. I do have a question for you very quickly. Just... Please, War. Uh, questions are welcome. I imagine we're going to be spending a lot of time together, uh, a lot of empty time, and there might be some awkward moments. So let's let's get all the talking out now. <laughs> to increase the awkward moments later. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, Asteria. Uh, please, War. What's your question? How do you feel about the flaming fist? The flaming fist. It is hard to say how I feel about an organization. Um, there are many people that make an organization, and there are evil people and good people everywhere in the world. So I would say I, I feel for the people who have to work with the Flaming Fist. The organization does not have a very good reputation, uh, not in Chult at least. They plunder these lands, uh, taking what they will, uh, and there are not many who can stop them. They are a organized military force, and Port Nyanzaru is a very localized place. Its laws stay within its walls and not outside. They can do little to stop them from claiming what they will. But if I were to say I have to have an opinion about them, I would say that they are very misled. I guess I should inform you we did not purchase a charter of exploration so avoiding Sorry. their purview mm. would be good says darling most people i take out in the jungle do not have one of those <laughs> if we if we happen to come across some flaming fist and they have a problem well they have a problem <laughs> they'll have to either get over it or do something about it and Looking you guys up and down, I think that uh, I don't know if they will be so willing to do so. Okay. Expe she's kind of like looking at you, especially there. <laughs> <laughs> all of us scholars. <laughs> <laughs> We're all little twigs. Jesus, besides, Except for the most, me. for the most part, they they patrol the the eastern portions of Chult. Yes. Where we're going, they should not be, and if they are. Well, unfortunate for them or unfortunate for us, I don't know. Yes. There are more dangers I am worried about. Sounds good. I just wanted you to know. Well, thank you. I appreciate uh, transparency. 
Uh, very much so. Just so, are, are we ready to go? Is there anything else that you all need to do? Message anyone else uh, before we before we go off? The weather is on our side, so I'd like to take advantage. I believe we're ready to go, are we? Yes. To Camp Vengeance, or Righteous, or whatever Righteous. we're getting off the river at. <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll finish so, eating my rations and taking a morning swig of strong alcohol. I usually will ask for mark rations at the end of the day, but if you want to mark them early, you can just try to remember that you that you marked them uh, already. Uh, it might be best to wait to mark them to the end of the day. That way we know we're not making any bumps or boo-boos. Um, but uh, but uh, I'll, you can say that you ate them. Just don't mark it until the end of the day. Like you can say you eat them at any time. It's fine. Well, I... Um, I'm rather tiny. I'm a little peckish. I don't eat the whole ration at once. No, yeah, you can you can pour, you can portion it out. Okay, yeah, that makes cool. I like that. That makes sense. Um, it's very cool. So I give everyone um, their shot of Tej because I bought a gallon of it. Oh, everyone get a shot of Tej. I imagine there's a scene. I'm I'm hearing something through the speakers. Oh, like sorry a, about that. Yep. Oh no, yeah, you're good. Um, uh, the I imagine there's like yeah, you all have these little shot glasses you pull out from your mess kit, and there's this like this drink, this drink to the day. We're still we're still alive. <laughs> I love it. That that might become a thing. Uh, I guess the sun is up. Time for shots. <laughs> shots, 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 shots. <laughs> shots, shots. <laughs> I love it. All right, so uh, let us let us begin the hex crawl. My first question to you guys is: uh, Right now, you are down a party member, but I always want to offer this choice to you. Uh, is Iku fighting with you? Today? I th I think we should have her fight with us. Just know that if an NPC is if an NPC is going to accompany you on encounters, on actual battle encounters or dangerous situations, they are going to take a cut of the XP. Uh, that is mostly just for killing. That is mostly just for when you are actually killing monsters. If you aren't actually killing monsters, then then I won't I won't split it. But if she's if she's contributing basically to the challenge in some way. Uh, if she, so even if, I guess if it's not killing, basically that's my bottom line. If she's contributing to the to the challenge, or if any NPC that you have is contributing to the challenge, then they get a portion of the XP. Mm, at least for uh, level like one and two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is this like a permanent choice? No, no, no. You can or? you can you can tell her you can tell her to go on and off. Like, hey, uh, we need your help protecting us basically uh like like uh, just just in this beginning because you are paying her so it's like an extra thing that she will do um i don't i i mean she probably shrugs her shoulders like she's used to it but you can tell that she'd probably much more prefer you guys protecting her but she can be a part of it as well i mean um, what do you guys want to do you guys want we can is, is there a chance that she could die Clearly. Um, there is a chance that she could die, but if like if you want to make a roll, if anybody wants to make a roll to gauge her capabilities, you could. Like if you're like worried about like oh, is this a yeah. is this a commoner that's gonna die with four hit I'll, points? Uh, I'll this... do an insight. That should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Please give me an insight check, and I'll I'll let uh, you know. Uh, this, this can be for multiple people, I think. Just because, uh, if you think if you think that you would have been like sort of looking her up and down and be like, can, can, do you think she can handle herself, kind of thing? Or oh, I totally think she can handle herself. Definitely <laughs> wants to gauge that too, but yeah, go 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 just, for it. Just just because I'm not gonna be good at it. <laughs> but <laughs> can can I lean on uh, War Turtle's shell and I up Iku as well to give him advantage? Yeah, you can give him the help action. You guys are like talking back and forth a little bit. <laughs> just are standing there like, what are you all saying? <laughs> we're just we're supping on our Tesh. Like, <laughs> I'm her up. Her. Um, yeah. Uh, so so go ahead and roll one more time, War. Okay. Let's see how you do here. Okay, that's not better. much better. I think that um, I roll... No. Okay. Yeah, that looks really... like it's sitting on its side. It did. <laughs> it was cocked, but it's fine. <laughs> All good. All good. It's like well, almost a sixteen. Almost. <laughs> I, love, I would love that idea. It's like that's a cock guy. <laughs> As a digital like, like, roll. Kick, kick the table. Kick, kick the, table. the table. Oh, wouldn't that be a great button to like bump the table? <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> so, tell, um, tell, tell, tell pinball. We're in Alexandria. You kind of look over now, and you don't, you don't really know. You can't really gauge that. Like as far as like looking at her and her capabilities, you're only really insight. She wields a staff. I mean, yeah, I mean, you can, you can sort of get like <laughs> get that from from what you will. Uh, it's she more than a, a walking staff. It's more than a walking staff. That's her staff, her wooden staff with that like carved picture of that sort of snake-like creature with the wing, that uh, like draconic-like creature with the wings on it. Um, Valphine, uh, I think this makes sense for you since you you're the one who's been kind of like noticing when she uses that magic with her eyes a little bit, yes. like, that little flash. You think that I think you I think you believe that she is very capable. In fact, Valphine. Um, Depending on, I, I don't know if I jump into secrets with me real quick, Valkyrie. It is a, it's right on their expeditions. Yeah. First secrets. Now this is the part where it'd be good if we were all recording. Although then we could go back and watch it and get the secrets, so that'd be bad. Yeah. <laughs> What are we gonna do when you get secrets? That is a good question. <laughs> I will probably ask Ed that as the first thing in the secrets channel. <laughs> we can we can gauge how exciting the secret is by Ed's face as he's describing it. Hmm. <laughs> it's not super exciting. Oh wait, that is the setting part. I mean, he, there's hand gestures. He's, he's talking with his hands. He does that occasionally. That part was not exciting, though. That was a definite like, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> We're just gonna like shout cast his uh, entire explanation without any context. I kind of hope Josh has a beard just out of like <laughs> how this is going right now. Yeah. Dustin's been keeping his around, right? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> I think he had it last one. Yeah. Jungle music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see this with like an ocarina? Just. <laughs> So I am excited to spam Ray of Frost for the next three hours. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing, but with uh, a roll. Eldritch Blast, so <laughs> we're all good. Because Warlock. <laughs> and that's, I'm feeling, feeling like it, it. I can't hit their armor class, and then I uh, will spam uh, Sacred Flame. <laughs> there you go. Yes, and then I will start spamming magic missile. Attack, 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 attack. If only I had magic missile. <laughs> okay, cool. We're back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. Uh, secrets have been told. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they, uh, as far as yeah, your nine to insight war and, and Alexandria, like I, I think it's I think it's a toss up uh, of, of what you think her capabilities are. She has a staff. You can literally talk to her too. She's the person <laughs> who speaks. So you can actually <laughs> ask her <laughs> what her capabilities are. She's just sitting there with that shot of Tej, like. <laughs> I, I don't think it matters to war. It's not going to change his demeanor. Okay. All right. Um, so, are we having her accompany you guys if an encounter breaks out where you have to fight stuff? So we'd have to split the XP. So right. from a depends on how fast we want to 
from Are a we... player like mechanical standpoint, I th- I want to be safe until we know that we're okay for a bit. Yeah, especially since we're level one. And we picked hard mode. <laughs> yeah, so it might be we good did. for the first one, and then if we crush the first one, you, yeah, then we can just be like, no, you, you we're fine. <laughs> you, 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 we'll protect you after that. Listen. She's not going to get any experience until she actually fights. So, <clears throat> here's what we'll do. She stands next to me the whole time. And if anything ever gets close to me, then she can fight. And then she'll split the experience. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, you can tell you this is something that can happen. You can literally be like, "Let's see how we do." And then like like tag her and like you go help. Now, the only depressing thing is when the entire party gets massacred and <laughs> poor, poor Alexandria is crawling over to the completely dead stared Riok, screaming, Heal me! What's wrong with you? Heal me! <laughs> She's gone. She's, gone. <laughs> She's just looking around like a I'm stupid sorry, parent. Healer. Like, She's she <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing the loot bodies before she leaves. Yeah. Yeah, she's getting ready to loot your guys' bodies. She's gonna pile of shit. (laughs) She's picking up the shiny shit. Crap! Yeah. Oh my god. All right. All right. So, uh, yeah. With 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 that. With uh, with that. Um, I will. I'll say like because it doesn't seem like we have a definitive decision as to whether or not we want we want tag Iku. Do we want it to be an option that you guys decide when the when the situation happens, or it's like we don't oh, need to make that plan. Yeah. If okay. we run into like five good. goblins, yeah. we don't well, grab them. But yeah, we'll... if we run into a zombie T Rex, <laughs> we grab them. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Iku, save us. All right. All right. Very good. Uh, player note, I guess. Don't have me be the one responsible for making those decisions. <laughs> uh, we'll, yeah, we'll we'll see how we'll see how that goes because it'll it'll well, be it'll be more party vote. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. hate to hate to break it to you, Mr. Tortle, but you may be the last one standing to make one. <laughs> <laughs> that could be. You're you're the one with the strength in the shell, so uh-huh. and the canoe. <laughs> <laughs> Strike the shell of the canoe. I'll get everything I need. <laughs> Just leave you suckers behind. <laughs> uh, so our our days our day starts. I've got our traveling routine up here right now, and we are starting on land. So for on land, I'm going to ask for the marching order. I'm going to ask for our actual direction that we're going once we start the navig- assigning roles. But for the beginning, we are on land. So these are the squares you guys can work with. And I want I want to know exactly where you want to be, because you have to know I am copy pasting you onto, onto a, a random encounter sheet. You will be exactly where you should be for this. So this is kind of our like hub for that. So where you are on this, you can do it. And if ever you want to change this marching order, around you you can just ask me uh um, like this but... being in the middle thing it's all good for me so right now okay. we're generally traveling west right <laughs> um yeah well we're gonna decide west, how south, we're gonna west. just we're gonna decide that direction so that's something i want to bring up maybe marching order and direction should go together uh a little bit so heading back over to the map really quick uh Iku is going to offer you two suggestions you can you guys can either head towards the water today like you can head towards the actual bay of Chult and and get in that canoe and she says that will that will get us going faster but being on the water in the bay could be a little riskier and in game sense that means we're rolling on a different random encounter for a table for the bay the bay has its own random encounter table which could include like she warned pirates so depending that just means a little, a little quite maybe a little bit more dangerous or she suggests we you walk on land for a while until you get to the river, but that's a slower pace. It will take a few. It'll take literally uh, like if you want to get to the river, the river starts right in there. this square. So it would be one, two. It'd be three days of travel to get to the river. But if you could today get onto the Bay of Chalt and move one, two, you can move two hexes this day and be like. How, how fast did we say the canoe moved? Was it canoe was moved it two, two hexes? Two hexes, and if you guys are moving at a fast pace, which there are no penalties, so you might as well. If you move at a fast pace, I roll on a d4, and that is a uh, that that comes with the navigation roll. Uh, it, it'll tell me whether or not you guys move an extra space, but I actually might just have one of you roll it because 
that would dictate. If it's if you roll a d4 and a one and two, you do not move that extra space. On a three and four, you do. So you can't move up to three on a canoe. That's just like war. It was like <laughs> just paddle, paddle into the bed. Like real fast. <laughs> real fast um so yeah you have the option of getting in the water now but in any case you are heading west yeah so you guys have the option of getting in the water right now like pr like like pretty damn soon um but there's still a risk uh i haven't rolled encounters yet there's still a risk of an on land encounter because you still have to like walk to the shore um that could happen in the morning uh um, but yeah i'm in favor of the land until the river's part yeah, right, yeah me too. yep we got two boats I got two, two for land, is that what it is? You guys yeah, want to go land straight up to... I don't know, what do you think, Kyle? I mean, we could cross the entire bay in a day. I'd feel like it's worth the risk just for the speed. Okay, we got one boat towards water. Balfine, if it ties, I'm rolling for it. <laughs> what do you think, Balfine? It always comes down to you for it, Josh. <laughs> You gotta get that no. boat in earlier. We should alternate going backwards through the order and then forwards through yeah, the order. Yeah, I'll, like... I'll, I'll go backwards. Uh, Melfi's interested in getting there as fast as possible. Okay, then we are rolling. I would like somebody, the uh, first person to do it, roll a d4. Uh, three and four, you are taking the water. One and two, you're taking the land. So who's rolling? Who's lucky enough? Slash roll, 1d4. First person to do it. It's okay if multiple people do it. Two, it's land. Land it is. All right. Land we, it is. We, you guys are... <laughs> we flipped the Riak coin. That's what that was. You did. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a zombie. It's, it's like the ghost. Over, flip the coin. <laughs> the ghost coin. <laughs> you guys realize I'm going to affect the Riak coin. <laughs> Oh yeah, he was talking about like, like, like using the, like, like magicking the Riak coin. <laughs> can do minor small illusions <laughs> enough to cover a side of a coin yeah yeah that's oh so you good. do you, you have minor illusion that's very nice so you guys are heading southwest so we're going in this direction where do you guys want to be i'll place iku after and if you want iku to be somewhere you uh, you can tell me where you want iku because iku will move so guys i have eight hp <laughs> <laughs> the safest place for me in the first couple encounters is going to be off to the side using a bow. Yeah, if you want to put yourself somewhere off to the side, you can. Like, all this space is available. So, I mean, not super far away, but... Yeah. I, Probably I'm pretty it's much... better to stay pretty close and then move away once the encounter starts, just so if it the encounter... If something comes from behind, if you're far behind... You are easy target. Okay. Yeah, these yeah, guys know the tactics pretty well. Probably beefiest person in the front, and then uh, second beefiest in the back. Does that sound yeah, right? Yeah. So React probably go in the back. <laughs> oh, was... by the way, React's not here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know. Cool, cool. Oh, no, my body shield. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> no, he's gone. Where did my feathers go? So, so with the four of us, I would say I'm we put with... four of us in like a square and then EQ behind us. Mm -hmm. That so, way, if okay something jumps us from behind. So, would this look good as it is then if we're moving west? That's probably right. fine. All right. I like this um, Tetris anybody block. Want, <laughs> anybody wants to make any changes, I'm counting down. Five, four, wait, wait. three. Let's <laughs> <two, laughs> let's put Iku to my right. To your right? Okay. Um, that's the last change. All right, you want her over here? That's not my right. <laughs> over here? Okay. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay. The other that's right. Where the other right. That's, that's <laughs> where Iku is. Back to the jungle map. All right, so that is where that is where we're looking. And uh, I'll ask you for, uh, basically, just so we're not going to that screen every time, I'll ask you if you want to change your marching order. Um, and I'll remind you if you need me to remind you, or you can take a screenshot before I change it, but you didn't. <laughs> Am I really actually one of the higher, Hold on. A, higher, like, toughness characters in our group as a oh. warlock? Yeah, you might be. I don't know. <laughs> that could be the case. So that's our marching order, and now we're going to assign roles. So this is fun. Um, the mapping role will not come into place here. 
because you're on areas that are already discovered, so there no one needs to be mapping. So uh, I believe the, the mapper was Asteria. So Asteria, you can commit to something else. So basically, you can be navigating. Iku is automatically going to be navigating. Anybody can essentially decide, one person can decide to give her the help action and get advantage, but I require, I think I require that, so that's not a rule. I guess because it's not a rule, so you don't have to you don't have to have proficiency in in a skill to be able to give the help action. That's just something a lot of people do, and I want to keep it mostly by the book, so you don't actually need the proficiency to use the help action. I, I can be proved wrong on that. If anybody finds something else, but for now, I'm pretty sure the way the rule works is anyone can do it. So someone can help Iku navigate, and either you or Iku can take the role up to you, and then. Uh, someone can be foraging, or uh, or Alexandria can be committing to her feature, which will give an automatic forage, so we won't have to roll. And then anybody who wants to not be using their passive perception, anybody who wants to be actively looking for danger, um, then then you could be scouting. Those are kind of things. Anything else that you're doing is considered just sort of an extra action. And you have to understand that when we do this, this is the one thing that you're doing. You can't you can't multitask uh, when you travel. You can you 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 are doing this one thing. You are committing to doing this. And as we go, we might add on some more things, like uh, like that that we think that there's like an, a, a thing that's important, like that I missed here with navigating, mapping, foraging, and scouting. We might have some other things that are possible. So. Um, I, you guys can discuss what you'd like to do and then type in to chat what your, uh, what your role is for me so that I have that solidified. Right, so we don't need a mapper. We can do the... Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, as far as, like, the helping navigate, that's survival checks, right? Those are survival checks. So you okay. can either just be giving uh, Iku uh, uh, an advantage, or you can be rolling yourself, and she would be helping you. I see. I mean, either I'm way. I'm okay giving her advantage to do that because I'm not going to be great at okay. scouting, probably. All right, then you are. Then go ahead and type in the. Uh, you're you're locking in the navigator roll and this is just like if anybody played a moba like you can add you can talk about it and be like hey don't don't be that character <laughs> let me let me do it uh so yeah we can uh... ap brand mid <laughs> me me oh, me God. all right uh i didn't see your message oh there it is assist navigator cool so yeah we got two people figuring out what they do so, um asteria what is your passive perception not very good if two okay. people scout, one person is giving the help action, the other person's rolling. So you get an advantage. So I have 16. I okay. will assist you in scouting. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I will be scouting. Delphine will. Uh, Iku, Navigator, and then that leaves Alex with assist scouting. Very cool. So the scouting roll happens earlier rather than later. Uh, the foraging roll would normally happen at the end, but Alexandria is automatically getting the forage roll. It rained yesterday, so she can get the water and the food. So at the end of the day, all five of you are covered except for Iku. Correct, uh, Kyle? It's five. I think it's five additional, yep. so Iku is covered too. Five additional? When you yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll oh like so you can get the whole party. Yeah. Yes. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. So yeah, everybody, everybody will be covered by this, uh, by by the expert, uh, the expertise here. Uh, in addition, you can find food and fresh water for yourself and up to five. That's so good. It uh, is. Yeah, that's that's covered. The food is the best. Food is covered. Awesome. No wisdom roll required. But uh, keep me alive when the food goes dry. Depending on the random encounter, if I depending on the random encounter, I might DM you a little bit and be like, "Aha! I got I got you a little far away." <laughs> Depending, <laughs> I might not be so mean all the time. Like, ah, foraging for food, are we? <laughs> I surrender and I volunteer for treason. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, so we know the roles that we're getting. So um, the first role that happens is going to be the navigation role, and this is seen mostly on my end. Uh, I get a, I get a, I get a special macro that that goes to me only because I don't want you guys to know whether or not you get lost. Yeah. So the role type is with advantage because we have war helping Iku. 
Um, um, the skill bonus. I'll put in her skill bonus. Do we have a What's marker up? for like where we think we are on the map? Uh, yeah, you I have a little red marker right over oh, where Irons are. Okay, that's what that is. Yeah, it's okay. it's kind of hard cool. to see. I know. Cool, cool, cool. It's it's like <laughs> so we get the there's their skill bonus. And what pace are you guys going at? Are you guys going at a fast, normal, or slow pace? So the fast and normal, I will say, as my DM opinion, they're so risky. <laughs> like fast. Fast, you still roll a d4 to see whether or not you can go, but everybody rolling their, everybody scouting gets a negative five, and you can and you can be surprised. Uh, if you go slow, you roll the one d4, and there's a chance, there's a 50-50 chance that you don't move at all, but you are allowed to stealth. Um, while moving and you're not going at a slow pace, there's no stealth happening in this group. You will be you will be seen unless you're going at a slow pace, uh, depending on the creatures or things you encounter. So basically, it's a question of whether we should go fast or slow. Um, or, uh, yeah, basically, you can go fast or slow. Normal, we'll just have you go the normal pace. There are no, everything's, there's no penalties. You don't get to stealth, but you don't get a negative to your perception. So, yeah, you can, uh, to your scouting. So, you, normal is probably the safest route. It's gambling going either way. Like, uh, being, being this close to port nine zaru i'm okay going like normal you go with okay going what? fast normal potentially fast but i don't know yeah being this close to port nine zaru seems like we are less it's less dangerous that we're going fast if we go fast okay yeah yep uh so and we the, can the go scouting... back if we really have to <laughs> yeah the scouting role will be at a negative so we will be cool we're gonna go fast um, before I roll this, because this this thing's gonna automatically roll that d4, I would like to know what pace you guys are gonna set for the day. So I would say war, since you are participating in the navigation, roll a d4, and we'll see if you guys go an extra hex. All right, war. Counting on you. You do not. <laughs> uh, you guys do not go an extra hex. So we are swimming fast. We are in. Coastal and lake. Are All you right. slowing her down, War? I'm not sure your assisting <laughs> is helping. I'm not used to carrying a canoe, okay? <laughs> All right. So, uh, the, the square you guys intended to be is this one, am I correct? Yeah. Straight down? Yeah. Yeah. Go to, isn't it? Okay. Uh, but yeah, before uh, we do, so yeah, we went, set the travel pace, assigned roles. Uh, we, we did number five, roll navigation, and now I need to roll random encounters. So we let's see it. how this goes. I'm more nervous for this than you guys. And everyone <laughs> dies the first I random heard, encounter. I heard some prototype rolls, and I oh, don't like no. prototypes. Oh, so. no. Yeah, Josh is at my work. I told him one of the roles I made. He wasn't happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This, this is, I'm rolling, just so you guys know what's going on on my end, I'm rolling three, I have a macro that rolls three dice for morning, afternoon, and night. That's how we're basing time. I will not give you an exact time. I'll tell you if it's morning, afternoon, night. And right now, if any of those rolls are over a 16, that's a random encounter. Yeah, because we chose hard, right? Yeah. We're gonna we sure die. All right. The we're rolled that this way. my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you guys uh, go out throughout the day. It's your first day trekking through the jungles of of Chult. Uh, you're making your way uh, mostly uphill. You're going at a you're going at a fast pace, but the jungle, like the even the being at the outskirts of the jungle, it's it's thick in parts and it's rough terrain. It's difficult to get around, and and you're not able to go nearly as quite nearly as far as as you would like to. Uh, the sun beats down on you the entire day. There's little to there's little to no rain, unfortunately. It gets it gets a bit dry. You can see sort of those puddles that you're passing. Um, the any conversation happening between you guys uh, as you travel, or is it mostly just sort of silent, stoic, like doing a thing, too tired? Because you are moving fast, so that's a good excuse to say you're panning most of the time. Is there any conversation that happens while you guys are are, are making your way? through this jungle area. And let me, I'm gonna turn off this song. I'm gonna turn on some, some ambience. Some jungle music. Jungle <laughs> ambience. I just, want that. I just want that sound of jungle. Listen to the jungle. 
Welcome to the jungle. No, like exactly. I was gonna say, where's the Guns and Roses? <laughs> right out of the port. Right out of the port. All right, um, so I have some jungle ambience on it. I don't think light. um, I don't think Valfian has any breath to say anything. She's okay. a bookworm, been hiding in, in the libraries. Uh, there's yeah. not not a whole lot of athleticism there. <laughs> She's read um, books about working out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to ask you like about your 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 roles a little bit too because that plays into a little bit of the travel role play what we can get out of it because this will become monotonous eventually and you guys will be like all right next 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 day next day but I want to give you the chance we start off to get a little bit into this Alexandria so, start with you you're keeping this party <laughs> hydrated yes yes I am how what does that look like well, what it'll look like to anybody in the group will be if they ever cast their vision out to the periphery, they'll see me crouch behind a bush just <laughs> <laughs> stuffing my mouth with whatever roots and berries I can find. Occasionally, I'll come skipping back out of the brush and hand somebody a fistful of whatever I found. <laughs> and, you know, occasionally I'll come down the line like a good soccer mom handing everybody bottles of water that I've gathered. <laughs> Get a cup with that mess kit. So here's a, here's a cup of water. Walk down the line, boil it first. Boil it first. Boil it first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, yeah. You guys are having you guys are having to like stop at certain points and boil it. Maybe that's why you couldn't set the fast pace. You know, the for the drink. For the, for the drink uh, and, and to, get, to get it going that way, you don't have to deal with any of the, any of the problems. Did anybody put on any bug salve? I will yeah. put on bug salve. You want to spend that now, or else you're going to have a fun time because I have a sound for, for mosquitoes that I will just keep playing every yeah. time I go. Oh, God. <laughs> bug salve it is. Do, yeah. do we only use one? Does that, that only affects your person, right? Correct. That only affects your person. And it lasts 24 hours. Right? So it lasts yeah. through the night, which is nice. So, yeah, so you might not even have to spend a. Uh, you might not even have to. Yeah, you won't have to spend a salve or a, yeah. an incense block until until this time next day. So uh, where did I put that? It's on your sheet so somewhere. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Nineteen. Down to nineteen. There we go. Excellent. So yeah, that's what we see with Alexandria. So um, our scouters who who, who stay a, a distance ahead, but not too far away from Iku, kind of. Uh, uh, making sure to, to shout out directions as to as to what path you go, uh, along with war. I think there's there's conversation happening between uh, Iku and War about like uh, the different stuff. We'll get into that in a second. So Asteria and and Valfine, you guys are sort of scouting ahead. What does that look like? Any conversation between you guys? Any kind of like weird scene scene that you want to set? We maybe see some like crazy jungle shit. I think Asteria <laughs> is talking to Valpine about mm -hmm. what books she's read and trying to suggest new books that she should read. Oh, yeah. The entire <laughs> day. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, that's pretty fantastic. Uh, Valpine can't really talk back to you. I think we need to go this way. <laughs> she's kind of red in the face, like sweat is dripping down her forehead. She's she's kind of she's kind of trying to pay attention to where you guys are going, but we're we're at a negative right now, right? Because we're moving fast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You are. You guys are at a negative. So I would actually like those rolls from you now. One of you is rolling a perception check with this with advantage, uh, okay. but at a uh, at a negative five. A negative. Yep. Minus five. So yeah. I will roll. <clears throat> so I'll roll twice for advantage, right? Yeah. Um, you yeah, you a, roll twice for advantage, or yeah, go ahead and tell them more. There's a advantage button at the top, uh, so you can like toggle it over from normal to advantage. Oh, and you then, can. And then okay. do your roll, but now that you've done one already, it doesn't matter. Yeah, let me roll twice. twice. Yep. The where's the? Oh, I do see the advantage button. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Very Remember good. to turn that back though, because it stays yes. wherever you toggle it. Uh, right. And right. if you accidentally leave it, it's always the first one. Okay. <laughs> so this is kind of this is kind of a, a quick scene of like the landscape of Chult and just kind of how vast and massive it is. Like why it's so difficult to move. Like you only move ten miles. It's very up and down. Uh, never never are you on like a flat terrain for long. Uh, and so that yeah, that's probably why a lot of you would just be absolutely exhausted. Just because it's a lot of climbing, a lot of uh, a lot of just uh, having to to deal with this really rough terrain that you are not used to. Not not in not north. Not in Baldur's 
gate. That's uh, that's a lot more flat land, closer to desert. This is this this can be a lot. So yeah, we got a twelve on this roll um, uh, to to check to check Third. stuff out, which yep. is cool. So that is your active uh, per, that is an active perception. Uh, excellent. Um, also, if like any spells, I should put a marker somewhere on this list, um, which I'm, I think I'm going to do real quick. Is uh, I'm going to I'm going to put a little one and a half on here and uh, for this list and say any 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 spell effects. So like guidance or anything that you guys want to use to like have have a spell active during the day. I want to make sure that we get those noted beginning of day. Guidance is a really popular one, especially for certain roles. All right, very cool. So that is our now that is our uh, scouting check. Uh, moving over to to war and and Iku. Uh, yeah, you guys are kind of like directing the party a bit. Um, making in you know not even a perception check. This is noticeable. Iku, this is something that that i think the rest of the party is too engaged in but because you're engaged with her war iku doesn't really tire her she doesn't really pant she seems like she's must be super athletic under all those <laughs> billowing light robes uh because like she seems like really like a as refreshed as as you guys were when you first left port nanzaro it might just be that she's a guide and she's just used to this kind of travel uh, so you can assume that, but it's something you notice. She's not. She's not any. She's not winded at all. Day in the park hmm. for her. Um, did you want to describe anything like a scene with that, like what that looks like? You and Iku uh, navigating the party. So navigation. That's got to be like map plus knowing where we're going. But I'm imagining like oh, Iku yeah. actually knows this area specifically because it's like the first spot you could out of port nine zero oh, yeah. so she probably knows like hey this is probably the best route to get out here going that direction specifically yeah. um so oh, i yeah. imagine she's more guiding me and i'm kind of like looking Remembering. yeah trying to like remember everything and see like what she's pointing out as like oh, hey these are things to to look out for when you're navigating these parts and that kind of stuff oh yeah there would be there would even be a moment uh probably where she would just uh look and she says she says whoa look at that flower there you see that and and uh and she'll be like this is something that alexandria should know that flower can sustain someone for some time uh it provides both drink and and food um, she says that is that is a flower to remember. But I I usually don't pick from this grove. <laughs> if if I do, I wouldn't be able to use it as a marking point. Uh, these flowers are so beautiful. Uh, it's easy to notice them. So uh, over here, uh, we must continue west. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. Um, beautiful. Uh, so uh, yeah, you guys. I believe that hits everybody. We we go uh, down the down the line. Uh, your your day your travel goes unhindered uh ah, unhindered what? you are able to travel <laughs> into the you're able to travel well into the night over over a fairly rock this rocky terrain of our amazing terrain. scouting skills first text yeah, not dead you guys, didn't, you guys didn't encounter anything it could be iku it could be iku uh making sure like she knows this area pretty well and is, is able to avoid most of the roaming packs of dinosaurs and she's like you know, they, they stay in most routine around here it's best that we uh we stay in place and i think i think with with your scouting check of 12 you could even say that maybe you guys did spot some roaming bands of of, di of dinosaurs and you just saw like oh yeah, we're avoiding those went back to iku said there's a roaming band over there and she's like oh good we'll divert this way and you're sort of avoiding avoiding any kind of any kind of dangers for the best for the most part and none none come to you none interact with you so unless you you weren't you weren't looking for trouble uh unfortunately uh so excellent your first day goes unhindered you are able to make camp I wish I could give my jukebox to somebody to be like, you do the music. <laughs> we did it, guys. You we did it. You well, me yeah, you guys are alive. We survived um, day one. <laughs> you survived Outside of one. Port Narizar. There's a few things that have to do. Campfire. Campfire plus horses. I don't know. It's fine. There's a campfire. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, are hitting, we are hitting the campfire up. Um, I'm going to mark a day on, I'm going to mark a day on the expedition and a, a point off Samuel Dren's max HP. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 
Alright, the man's dying! <laughs> that's that's a thing, huh? Alright, one day, yeah, I might as well tell you guys. This so, you know, luckily you know he's, he's high leveled, apparently. <laughs> One more, one more HP off of Samuel Drone. Just because I, I know eventually, like I'm probably not supposed to tell you that. It's not a big deal, but I know eventually I would because I have to do it every day. Yeah. So I'm just gonna tell you guys to remind myself. <laughs> yeah, one more HP off good old Samuel Drone's HP bar. And one more HP off Samuel Drone. <laughs> he's gonna die. So I'm gonna pop. Yeah. Please. Oh well, we can resurrect him once we figure out all the problems. Yeah, you'll figure it out. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> So there was no XP game today because there was no real challenge here. I forget who who told me. Yeah, it was you, Josh. You're like, but we but we tricked our way. Isn't that a challenge? <laughs> Nothing dangerous happened to you today. Shit, we're getting that thing where we're like, yeah, we can get in here if we're just fine, and you can't get back. <laughs> you can't get back. Yeah, yeah. So um, so uh, the the night shift is not important. Um, uh, but I'm gonna make you roll anyway. Uh, because if I don't, you'll know that when I do make you roll, there's a night encounter. So we will still be deciding who, every night, who is rolling, uh, who is, who is going to be in the shift. I only need four volunteers. So basically who is not going to be, who, who is not going to be in a, in a, uh, in a shift tonight for sleeping? Well, well, there are for, only for, four for of us right keeping now. keeping watch. There's five. It's Iku. Iku. Now, Valphine is an elf and doesn't need to sleep. You're right. You can meditate. cover you can cover two shifts. So there's four yes. shifts. Each has to be two hours. I've done this math a million times. The best way to set it up is is because uh, you need eight hours and everybody needs to get a certain amount. And if everybody takes a two hour shift, they'll get it because in a full rest, you only have to actually sleep for six hours of the eight. The other two can be light activity. So everybody gets like a or light activity or keeping watch. So everybody gets a two hour slot where they can keep watch. So who isn't? Who isn't on watch? Everybody else is. Anyone can volunteer, like not me, and <laughs> think everybody else should. Not me. <laughs> all right, not Alexandria. Alexandria is just sleeping through it all, and everybody else is going on a a watch shift. So she needs her spell sleep. I would normally I would normally ask you. Yes. Uh, I will normally always ask you whether there's an encounter rule or not. I'm gonna keep most of this secret. I just want to be very transparent in the first day, so you guys know everything I'm doing. Um, but uh, uh, I will normally, at this point, ask you who's going in what shift, like first, second, third, and uh, fourth. Um, but tonight, because I know there are no random encounters, you guys are safe. The the cradle of Chult keeps you keeps you happy. Uh, you you sleep again, and it doesn't rain on you, so everybody everybody can everybody can rest and get a decent night's sleep. Uh, and we'll see how the morning treats you, whether or not rain wakes you up. Huh? It's the regular season. It's rain. <laughs> You're woken up by rain. A sheet of rain falls over the land, creating uh, a damp but slightly cozy atmosphere while walking under the massive trees of the jungle. But the humidity rises. Most places within the jungle are still relatively dry due to the thick canopy catching most of the rain. So yeah, like I said, you're, even, you're on the outskirts of the jungle, but there's still canopy. It's, there's probably more open spots than this description applies, but it's, it's, a, it's a maximum hot day. It's 95 degrees, you are sweating. It is, it is, it's, not, it's not going so well. So we're starting right back at the beginning. Ha <laughs> ha, same verse, second, second verse, same as the first. Uh, <laughs> so no spell effects I, as far as I know. Does anybody have any spell effects they wanted to like bring up? Any cantrips or spell slots they want to spend to like have an active effect? I don't know if anyone picked those up. Let me see if Iku does. If she would do anything. I'm hoping Dustin has one once he's back. Once he's back. Once he's here to help you. Uh, not really. Uh, no, not anything. Not anything she's going to use for right now. Right now she's good. Uh, okay. So our marching order. Are we keeping the same marching order? Sounds as we good. Yeah. Direction? All right. Same marching order. Rolls. Are we keeping the same rolls, or would anyone like to mix it up? Well, we don't need me mapping for a while, so I might as well help scouting. Okay. Uh, okay. Does anybody want to do anything different than what they were doing before? I will do something different. What will you do, Alexander? You've kept them fed and watered. Yes. I hope no one took rations last night because they didn't need to. Um, I am going to be casting Prestigitation while I work. Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yes. What I is... am going Go to be... Have you... Do you remember those bands that you would put around your head that have a small fan attached to them? <laughs> because that's what I'm doing by creating a consistently small puff of wind in my face. All oh, right, yeah, you are constantly just airing out your face. I think there's a moment for sure where Iku, even though she's navigating looks and just lets out a little bit of a laugh, she can't help it. She's like, I never thought of that before. That's really smart. It looks like I may pick that up like halfway through the day. <laughs> After seeing you do it. Yeah, you would like look over, I'd be bent over picking berries, but my hair would be like blasted back. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm staring into a gust. Oh my god. All right, so we're uh, we'll we'll do the uh, so yeah we assign roles. Let's get that scouting role out of the way. Is it a Styria or Valphine rolling? Valphine again? Valphine every time. Valphine, right. uh, do you know how to set your character sheet to advantage? Yes, I do. So we're we're doing advantage. Are we still? Oh yeah, what's your guys' travel pace? Right? Yeah, yes, are we moving fast, pace. guys, or are we moving in normal or slow? Uh, you guys said fast pace before being close to Port Nine Zaru. You're one square away. <laughs> How do you feel? You got lucky. We feel lucky. I still feel lucky. Yeah. I feel lucky. We're doing, we're doing that one more pace. fast day. I'll, I'll ask that roll from you in a second. Where when I when I come around to you. Okay. Uh, that would give you give you something to do when I call on you. So all right. So you are at negative five. So give me that advantage roll. I'm uh, <sighs> minus five from it. Minus five. Dang it. Oh, yeah, we'll just apply it from the base roll, so. What do we got? Let's see. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> did not notice things today. I, I, stare, like, I, think, I think there's so much, like, you're getting closer and closer <laughs> to that thick jungle that it's just kind of like, there's moments where you, where Asteria, I imagine you're looking around, and it's just like, man, I can barely see. This is <laughs> all leaves. <laughs> And, and again, she's like panting out of breath because we're moving fast again. So there's yeah. time to recover. <laughs> yeah, she's, it's, she's, she's like stopping yeah. with her arms on her knees, you know. Hang on a second. Hang on. I, uh, I'm not going to apply it now, but uh, Jacob, I'd like you to write down a rule thing for me to note for the future to find okay. out, just so we can bring it up. Whether or not exhaustion is applied on a fast roll, I can't remember, and I'm not going to look it up right now. Right now, we're going to stick with what we got, because um, that would make fast roll even worse, but for yeah. now, we're doing it normal. So, yeah, you're, whew, you're huffing it. Uh, Assyria, <laughs> Assyria, it's pretty... I think I think you I think you are as knowledgeable as as Valfi would be since you're helping that you guys aren't doing the best of job and that it uh, <laughs> you're just like trying your hardest. All right, cool. And um, Alexandria, you are still foraging. <laughs> no, 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 no. Keeping the party keeping the party covered. Grabbing, I'm not, like, I imagine you like grabbing his food, chewing it, and spitting it back up to the party. I don't ever yeah. oh, <laughs> oh, man. They can <laughs> chew for themselves. <laughs> I know. All right, yeah, they're chewing for themselves. All right, you're you're keeping you're keeping uh, the party hydrated. You're keeping everybody well fed for the day. That way they can they can work in this. I think there has to be a level of appreciation coming to Alexandria for sure. She's literally keeping you guys fed and and uh, keeping you from dying of thirst as well. Are She's doing there, a lot of work. So like, is foraging also give you the opportunity to like figure out the insect repellent stuff? Because I know we talked about that at one point. Is like foraging for <sighs> insect repellent. Oh, foraging to look for insect repellent to make the materials. Yeah, you can forage for that mm. specifically. Okay. You have to forage for that specifically, and okay. it'll be a wisdom survival roll. So you have to either okay. be looking for food and water, or be looking specifically for ingredients for self. So that's another um, role essentially that we could yeah. have. And we're coming back to that twenty-four hours. So everybody apply a self. Yep. Um, uh, everybody apply a self if you haven't already for your for your buggy bug bug spray. Um, uh, those, those suckers aren't great. Uh, so they basically make life hell. Anyway, so yeah, we got our travel pace, and now we're going to roll the navigation roll. We're doing that. Uh, advantage, Mitt. Get your skill bonus in there. Did you want the D4? Um, yeah, give me the D4 now. Let's see if you guys get that extra extra hex. Oh! Hey, there we go. One extra hex. You're going to be making it to the river tonight. Yeah. Uh, if you survive, I haven't rolled encounters. <laughs> <laughs> if you survive, yeah. oh god! <laughs> and our perception we'll be level right three now. by the time we make that river. 
And who knows? You guys could be getting terribly lost right now. You don't know what these rolls are like. You might not That's even be true. what you think you are. That are. is another reason to not go fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, just because you'll fast. roll two. You'll, you'll go right. two squares in the wrong exactly. direction. Exactly. <laughs> two in the wrong direction. Oh boy! It's All right, zombie land. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put your marker where you guys want to go, and then we're gonna apply the stuff just so I don't have to do it now. Yep. I'd rather do it with the navigation roll. This square, guys. This yep. is where you want to go. All right. Cool. We are going. Uh, we are going there. And I am. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> One day I'll explain a really funny thing that happened in this game with that. With that. With that exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> moving at a fast pace and getting lost uh, in a game. In a game I was watching. Okay. Cool. So yeah, we have moved here, and now we are rolling the random encounter rolls. I don't think I'm missing anything. Keeping this in order. Okay. All right. So uh, as your day uh, goes on, a similar day of travel, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the weight of, uh, of, of, of your own body is becoming more and more apparent as it's like, oh, wow, I don't <laughs> have not exercised this much. <laughs> Making your way through this rough terrain, getting close to actual jungle, seeing the actual thick jungle. Like, like there's probably a, point, uh, there's probably a couple points between war, you war and uh, and Iku where it's like, is this a jungle yet? Is this a jungle yet? We're in the jungle now, right? <laughs> and then there was a moment where you're like, oh, shit. No, that's the jungle. <laughs> and it's just like this thick wall. Um, your day goes unimpeded again <laughs> Woo! you don't learn anything the coast the coast seems like a very safe area uh like you're not you're not having too many problems and you make your way all the way to all the way to the coast i think iku iku is just kind of like wow taimura must be on your side or the opposite i'm not sure <laughs> she's just like, she's like yeah we she's like normally normally the path is not so safe but you never know with the creatures of Chult. I says, but the jungle we are appearing in now. I says, things are going to get rougher for sure. If you think you're exhausted now, uh, get ready for a real trek. You haven't seen anything yet, my friends. <laughs> Well, that's what the river is for. Yeah. And yeah, as night begins to fall, the river pierces. And I think, like, what, what's that seem like when you guys finally hit the river? Like, you've been traveling two, two days on foot, two full days. The sun is falling, and the river is there. And I think Iku just smiles as right where it's supposed to be. And you know you're not, you're not lost. War gets there, sees the river, and immediately picks the canoe off and puts <laughs> it on the ground and goes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's been on you for a while. I imagine it like rests on your shell, like like, yeah. like, like one of those like yeah. bars. <laughs> yeah, they have the how long, yeah the gunnels that you can rest on there. How how far down is the river from where we're standing? Are we on a cliff? Or are we? Um, it is it is a uh, it, it's a cliff side to for sure to get down, but that's part of your travel to get down. You guys get down right to the edge of the river. Uh, pretty much, you can get right next to it before night. Before night falls, uh, and and climbing down it, yeah, you're climbing down rough terrain this whole time. And though this this looks like a cliffside ledge, it, it is a cliffside ledge here. Um, let me ping. Yeah, this looks like a cliffside ledge here. It is. It's it's just it just means it's like an escarpment. It's going down at a, at a at a quicker angle, but you guys are able to traverse it. So we're we're on the shore next to the river. Then. You are on the shore next to the river at the end of your day. Yes. Cool. I wave to all the pirate ships who are following us along the coast this whole time. <laughs> 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 oh, that's that's great. Yeah, I mean, it, it rained it rained pretty much the whole day, so for the most part, you were you were getting you were getting wet. Um, there's there's certain areas of canopy that would block it, but uh, yeah, we come back to uh, we come back to that uh, that that campfire again, which was going the whole time, but it's you, on, on, you couldn't tell because it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> Did we uh, get to put out a campfire? It was on the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Just We're gonna come back to a burnt us. down Fort Nine aren't we? I know it's pretty really bad news there. All right, is there anything else going? Nope. Yep. We just have just have the campfire sound. So yeah, we come back to that campfire at the end of the day. Uh, you guys are, are well fed, well um, uh, well thirsted. I don't know what the word is for that. Well drunk. You got your you got your drink in you. Um, hydrated. Hydrated. Yeah, hydrated. Thanks, buddy. I love you. You are yeah well fed, well hydrated. Uh, as you make your way to the edge of the river and uh, and uh, yeah the you make that campfire again. 
um, and uh, and set set your watch up uh, yeah. uh, for the night. And uh, and yeah, you uh, we'll we'll stick with the same sort of watch uh, routine, Alexandria. Not 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 on watch this uh, this uh, this night. And uh, I think there's a scene where Alexandria uh, kind of or not Alexandria, where Iku's kind of addressing. He says, "So." Are you all ready to finally get off your feet and use the river? I know I am. And she still doesn't seem exhausted. I think anybody can notice that. At the end of the day, she's not nearly as sweaty as any of you. She's not nearly as, like, out of breath or, like, like oh, please, Alexandria, give me some food. Give me my end day, my end day <laughs> ration. I need it. She, she seems totally fine. She accepts the food and water that Alexandria gives her, but it's mostly just with a smile. But, uh, yeah, she looks and says, uh, it'll be, it'll be a, Easy going, at least for our legs, but uh, you must be prepared when we enter the jungle. From here on out, things could get dangerous. Unless you are just the luckiest motherfuckers in the world. <laughs> we get that no random sounds... encounters. That's how it works. Great. <laughs> she, says, she says, well, you know, if... if uh, um, and she says, uh, if, if that is the case, then I would say that uh, uh, Uptal would have to, have to be on your side. I have to be blessing your journey. Um... Yeah. Our mysteriously missing priest is a priest of luck. <laughs> here, but not here. <laughs> You're not here. You're not here. You're not here. No random encounters. We're going to get to the last boss at level six. <laughs> and then insta die. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you guys are under leveled for this. Sorry about that. <laughs> you need to go back and grind in the jungle a little more. <laughs> Gotta go play Final Fantasy real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go through I'm gonna just because and we come to this night scene every time, uh oh we come to this night scene again and, and you guys know that it's no big deal to to roll uh, to roll for like, okay, who's going what? Because then you'll instantly know that's a random encounter. I'm gonna just call off like morning you're good, afternoon you're good, night you're good. Good lord. Asteria's polymorphed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to a doggo. Oh my god. That's great. Alright, so you guys get your get your rest. You're you're uh, you're covered for that. The rain the rain is still light on your faces. You're able to set up best you can to keep it to keep it off of your faces, similar to how you did your first night. Uh, hiding under the canopy or using the using the canoe, uh, you can hear next to you the river Ocean Star uh, sort of uh, slowly rushing its way by. Uh, I think I have I think I have some sounds for that actually. Where's my river Ocean Star sound? It's time to have to pee. <laughs> time to have to pee. Yeah, sorry guys. Here we go. Break the seal. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit, little bit of river, river sound for you as, uh, as you hear that sort of rushing, rushing by, and it might even be like a little bit of a calm thing, help, help those get to sleep who might be having trouble, and uh, we awaken for our next day, uh, and uh, and we we start yet again on travel. This time though, you guys are climbing into the boat, so yes. things are a little bit different while you're in the boat. I'm still going to be giving uh, Kyle Alexandria a chance to forage, but I would ha I would say that probably that that is that is a moment where you guys will have to sort of stop the boat. It's probably best done at night. Um, just know that night encounters with the boat might might focus more on you because since you're the only one like actually going around and foraging and doing something at night. But well, that's dependent. But uh, while you're on the boat, yeah, you're kind of like stuck on the boat. When we're talking a river, we're talking like this thing can go anywhere from like where you're at right now uh, on the river. It is probably almost uh, a mile across, half mile across the river. This is um, continue, Kyle. It's good. Okay. Oh, uh, I was just saying that when we would break from constantly being in the canoe to stretch our legs or to do whatever yeah. that's when i yeah. would when, when i would forage perfect that's perfectly fine that works for me um uh so yeah you guys uh you guys get you guys sit in the boat and now we're gonna we're gonna change up a little bit because this is also important um so yeah starting at the beginning of the day let me see here Oh, it wiped my sounds because I moved this thing. Damn you, roll 20. <laughs> Bring me back my river. River. Uh, first things first, we start every day with the weather. Every day begins with the weather. <laughs> That's the most important part of the day. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a good well, day to be on the river. Okay. 
Oh, All right, <laughs> the tropical storm. So yeah, I think you were just getting in the boat when 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 black clouds start to roll over, and Eagle goes, "That does not look good. Perhaps Tyora, Tymo, perhaps Timora was not on your side." <laughs> and uh, yeah, the sky darkens as lightning, rain, and mayhem rain down from above, while the wind tears the trees away from the earth itself. Rivers swell and rage through the jungle, preventing any form of travel by boat. Uh, the river <laughs> swells. It's and she's uh, yeah. And uh, uh, any guide worth their salt knows the best choice is to hunker down and wait out the storm. But there are always those foolish enough to think they can test Mother Nature. Anyone there's a there's like a one in twenty chance of this happening. But <laughs> anyone braving the storm immediately gains one level of exhaustion and must make a DC ten Constitution saving throw at the end of the day to prevent wariness from setting in so like another Jesus. level on top of the attributes of heavy rain all which means like it's really hard to see and shit all characters are also at disadvantage for making their survival checks if this storm starts coming down and iku's like <laughs> your luck has run out my friends we should not travel today that seems like a good plan uh, yeah, yeah. i think we're yeah. on the side we're pretty good with that this is exactly yep. the time where we push okay. our luck no, no. 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 We move <laughs> at a fast pace. <laughs> oh my god! No, I'm sorry. Triple disadvantage. <laughs> it can't get any worse, right? <laughs> as, as the thunder comes in. As the thunder comes in. River to guide us. We'll be fine. <clears throat> Yeah, so, uh, you, yeah, she suggests hunting, uh, it's a bunk, uh, bunkering in as, like, even going, even trying to travel will risk you guys some levels of exhaustion, possibly even two levels, and you only get those back. Uh, levels of exhaustion, uh, for those who don't know, uh, the, the more you get, like, the worst, I think the first thing is your speed is halved. The second thing, or no, your first thing is, like, your skills all are at disadvantage, like, everything you do is at disadvantage, and then, like, the second level of exhaustion, your speed is halved. If you get six levels, you literally die. So exhaustion is not the best, and you can only recover from those after a full night of rest. I am okay waiting. Hunkering down. All right. Yeah, you guys you guys hunker down. In my show. Um, let's see how, yeah, let's see how your day goes, because you're out, you're in a dangerous place. These rolls still happen, even while you're not traveling. Um, so let's get, let's get that roll down. Um, Alexandria, you... So it's raining and you have this navigation. I think what's going to happen, and tell me if you don't like this, because I feel like this is fair, because it says like anyone trying to so navigate. You know what? I'll give it to you still. I'll give it. I don't think I'm going to make you roll. I was going to make you roll maybe just a survival check, a normal survival check to see if, if you do okay, just because the weather's really bad. Um, but I think like between between the rages of the storm, I think it's okay for you to be able to still grab your stuff. What do you think? And water should be super easy because we are probably going <laughs> oh, under water, 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 a rain catcher. The yeah. water part's easy. Yeah, we'll set up yeah. the rain catcher and do that too. So. I think it wouldn't be hard of her to to scrounge what's available around the periphery of the camp, and she's not going to get lost either mm -hmm. because she has an excellent memory for where she's been stepping. So. Cool. Even in the torrential right. range, she'll be able to just manage. Oh man, yeah, we get that scene. I think I like that scene of you. Uh, of you. Well, we'll see if there. Yeah, there are any scenes. We get that scene of you picking up some food and like running back through the rain. Like you got your hood up best you can. Um, now that's really so great. The two I of us that. spending a few seconds uh, drying you off together. <laughs> oh, I, I have uh, prestigitation, so yeah, I'm so just... do I. I was just saying, help with the extra, <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, yes, help drive me off during this no, storm. Fine. Can we have yeah. the, yeah. Well, you know, we, she's, yep. she's got a frown on her face and she's holding a book over her head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have <laughs> yeah. the, uh, like, while we're, like, hunkered down, the canoe, like, war is inside his shell mostly, and the canoe is like on top of his shell on one end to prop it up a little bit, and everybody else can be underneath it. Yeah, yeah. What's up? <laughs> we He's like have up the canoe. Yeah. Prop up the canoe on my shell, and then everybody else can kind of be underneath it a little bit. <laughs> but just my head's like po poking out into the sh canoe, so we can okay. still like talk <laughs> or something, <laughs> do something for the day. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. So, um, yeah, what's, uh, yeah, what's, what is everybody doing? So that's what you two are doing during this storm. Alexander, I know you're gathering, you're gab you're just taking time to gather, right? Yes. All right. And, uh, and Asteria, what are, uh, what are you up to? I don't know if you said already. Uh, well, every time our gatherer comes back, I'm drying her off, but mostly I am trying not to get super wet. Okay. Um, excellent. So yeah, mostly you're trying not to get super wet. You're just you're just kind of hanging out under uh, under some stuff. All right. Uh, give me a moment. Talk among yourselves. Okay. <sighs> give me a, yeah. Give me just a quick moment. The wind the wind is really blowing. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is, is definitely. Noisy. It is definitely blowing. Mm. Oh, you know why? It's because I haven't turned the, the music volume down. Yeah, you, know, <laughs> yeah, you can. You can technically. You can technically. You can absolutely move that down. I can hear everybody. Syria <laughs> is like, uh, makes a point that at least it's not cold rain. <laughs> so this is very true. Very true. Yeah, it's actually pretty warm rain. What did what did the uh, what did the temperature say on there? Ninety two. Ninety five, okay. isn't it? It's ninety two. Yeah. Oh, that's the day. Okay, ninety two. Yeah. Okay. The, uh... are, we, are we still are we still we're not able to scout in a tropical storm, I'm assuming. Um you can make that check with disadvantage if you want. Yeah, if you want if you guys if you want to roll that scout roll still you can, just to keep an eye out on what's going on, or you can use yeah. your passive perception. That's up to you. That could be a better number. Uh, if you wish. So I can um, just use my current. You can be like, perception? that's the number I want. Your passive perception. Yep. Sixteen. Yeah, that's really damn good. That's super good. Let's do it. Does anyone really have a high passive perception? perception. That? What's that? Yeah. It is really high. Yeah. He yeah. He yeah. He's pretty killer. Um, yeah, because he's he's got he's got stuff. Um, he got stuff. Yes. He's got stuff. So, yes, keep, keep, remain, keep talking amongst yourselves, friend. Right? Just, just, I think, just speak. for me. I think I've been just through, through one of these storms before as a small child. I've, I've never seen a storm like this. I'm actually terrified. I'm always inside. Inside. <laughs> I've seen storms, not... Tropical storms. <laughs> I'm usually reading a book. The windows are keeping me safe, and a candle is on. Ooh, a candle is on. That's interesting. I did spend like six months in caves with some cobalts too, so this is better than that. Cobalts. Cobalts. <laughs> was was that by choice? <laughs> well, they have an, a. Interesting culture. <laughs> culture. With quotation marks. The culture? Do you have any examples? You really don't want to know. Wars <laughs> poked his, his head and his arms out of his shell and is writing down everything she says about cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, are you sure you don't want to elaborate? I mean... You, you did spend quite some time down there, and I, I've read a lot about kobolds, but you, you don't get the culture without actually being being there. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, I want you guys hey. to set up. Well, this is something you guys can do real quick. I want you guys to set up your camp. Set me. up camp. Yeah, set up like where are you guys at camp wise, like like placement? We're gonna be under the trees, huh? The I think we're um, under the canoe. Okay, yeah, yeah you're under the canoe. I'm just wondering like placement, like where you guys are next to each other, like how close and stuff. I don't know. I, I said I was at the end of a canoe, like it propped up on the shell. <laughs> oh, so like all in kind of like a line? <laughs> so yeah, kind of potentially. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's enough it's enough to cover everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. Because if it's um, enough for all of us to ride. It's gotta be it's enough not, to flip yeah, it over and have six, the opposite. Six person boat, right? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. So, Asteria does go into detail about how there's some smells that never come out of clothing. 
<laughs> what um what scouting roll did you get at disadvantage? Um to oh wait no you were I using your passive goes. perception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use passive sixteen. Passive perception sixteen. Alright, excellent. Um so uh you're keeping watch in Asteria. Uh, well it's, I would say if you're just using your passive. Asteria, what's your passive? Uh, ten? I am not very good at that. Okay. <laughs> Not very good. So I think it's just I think it's just uh, you, Balthine. So the storm is that you hear that thunder go off, and all of you are maybe like trying to do your own thing, trying to uh, you know have conversations. I think like Balthine or, or uh, Alexandria has just sort of come back with a little bit of extra food for everybody to return and be like, yeah, you know, here this is what I found, and um, I, you second guess it for a minute. There's like a thunder, and you hear what just sounds like a. God damn it! <laughs> this like this sound, this like whispering sound is just this like yelling, um, uh, and like just this sort of like sounds of, of of like words, and you're like, am I am I going crazy? I think that's what you might be thinking. And then in between the thunder claps, you you're sure of it. You hear a voice, and it's it's pretty. It's it's getting closer to the camp. Um, uh, for sure, you can you can hear it between the uh, between the the sounds. Can I hear? Can I roll an inside check? How distressed is this voice? Um. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, make an insight check for me, real quick. Oh shit! Disadvantage, right? Yep. Uh. So it's the first roll. Twelve. It is the first roll. Um. Your perception check is 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 sixteen. So, um. Um, so yeah, you guys are hunkered down in here. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna check them really quick. Real quick. Them? Them. Um, you hear, you hear somebody, uh, let me just see this. Okay. Yeah, um, you peek up, you, I think you, I think you like stand up because you're like, no, that must have been a voice kind of thing. And you look over over the, the canopy and you see just just coming out of the jungle, like you guys are at the edge of the jungle, just coming out of the jungle on the side of the river, through the rain pouring down, you see a a, a individual. You see you see somebody walk out, and I think the, the first the look that you get, this person's completely bald, and they have tattoos on their head, and they have these long red flowing robes. And then there's like he comes out and he's like shouting and he looks angry and uh stepping up behind him you see something that scares you that send that sends you a, a little bit of a shock into your heart a, a black smoke come up next to him and you can see it like struggling and outside of this black smoke you see it sort of radiating around a figure inside of it and and as the black smoke disperses in places you can see these bits and chunks through the rain of, of something like surrounding it and it looks to be a, a an animated skeleton and it's just surrounded in this black smoke and coming out sort of around them like they're just popping out boom one after another after another and they're just like moving like <sighs> like and i think you can hear you can hear through it just uh through the rain and this is still only used like, we have to find comma and um the uh you see four other individuals pop out these 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 armored wielding weapons these mercenaries uh with these sort of like red um sashes and he seems to be looking for cover and uh yeah he he looks right at you and he just says <sighs> and he like he gets this look this wide eye and he says there. and um and yeah, it uh, you they're they're about to approach you. What do you say to your party? Like what do you, like the like they're they, you can see them coming. They're only about a hundred feet away. Delphine kind of slaps her hand on War Shell, and like really hard. Like, 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 guys, <laughs> everyone, no, we've got we got four people coming. They're armed, and they saw us. And I I think I see skeletons shrouded in smoke. <laughs> War reaches out, grabs the. The shield on one side, the battle axe on the other side, and just stands up with the canoe still on him. <laughs> <laughs> right up out of his shell. <laughs> what do the rest of you guys do? Avoid letting the canoe fall on me. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we should push the canoe in front of us so it creates a barrier. Yeah, roll it over. Oh, roll it over in front of you. Yeah, so it'll give us half cover. Okay, yeah. I think that's smart. Uh, do you guys do you do that war? That's 
Sure, if that's what they tell me to do. <laughs> All right, you roll it over. Man. All right, uh, I Iku, she's just, uh, I think she immediately goes to you, Valfine, and is just like, what, what do you see? Who do you see? You said, what, what did you describe? There's, there's a group of armed mercenaries over there. They have armor, uh, uh, one of them, the one up front looks bald, he's got tattoos. They're she says, walking, walking bald, with them. tattoos, a fan. She says, ready yourselves. They are not going to be friendly. And uh, and yeah, you guys see as as, as they approach, uh, uh, still only probably only like ninety feet away now. Um, I, I think enough of you can hear through the storm. He says, "Travelers over there!" Oh no, uh, yeah, no, what? Yeah, it's just travelers over there. He says, "I need more skeletons to build our cover. I uh, gotta get out of this rain. Kill them!" And uh, yeah, I would uh, immediately. I want. I would love some initiative rolls. This is the situation. Jeez, here we go. So quick. Question. I rolled. I rolled for. I also rolled for their uh, their their attitude as well. What's up? Um, I had enough warning that they were coming for us yes. to throw down the canoe. Yep. Is that enough time for me to cast some spells? Ooh, on uh, one. You one. One. One action. Oh boy. One one oh. a, one action to prepare something if you wish. No no movement. I alerted them from 90 feet away. That was that uh, sufficient for anything more. Well, they're than starting them? at 90 feet away. That's. They're oh, they're 70 right now. They should be a little further. Sorry. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Beep. All right. 90 feet. That's good. Yep. I believe that that is where they started. 90 feet away. Yeah. They're coming out of. Is that 95? 80. So that's 75, 80, 85. Yeah. 85, so 90. Yep. Okay. 91 back. Beep. But yeah, he's coming for you, and all of you shouted literally. He's just like, "I need more skeletons! Kill them!" Um, he wants to build a shelter. He needs more help. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, what was there something you wanted to do, Alexandria? If anybody has like a quick action, something they want to get on before like a turning something on, an ability or anything. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open up my spell book as the canoe slaps into the ground in front of me. Okay. And I'm going to chant Elu de la Thore, and I'm going to cast Ooh. Mage Armor on myself. All right, yeah. You can cast Mage Armor on yourself. Shh. Anybody else have anything like that that they want prepared? Mm, no yeah, all my stuff is actually stuff, combat stuff, so I'm going to wait till actual combat. All right, Was... guys, we're rolling. What's up? War would probably just make sure his legs were on the other side of the canoe <laughs> towards them. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, yeah, you guys have you guys have cover. I'm giving you I'm giving you half cover. So I believe that is a plus. So if you want to roll initiative, please click on your token. Uh, make sure That's you're it. clicked on your token. Uh, if you're not clicked on your token, this won't work. Click on your token and then click the initiative button uh, uh, that pops up in the, the top. Of, that will that will put yeah. If you do it off the sheet, it won't put you on the thing. So yeah, you just have you, to make sure you're clicked on your button. If we Which clicked one off is the initiative, the light blue. Um, so if you click on your token, you get three buttons in the top left-hand corner right next to your arrow tool. Foraging, initiative, and jungle uh, chase okay. complication. Right. So I'm initiative's the one. So no, if I good. already clicked, do you screen. want me to re-roll, even though I got a natural one to initiative? Uh, no, you if you, if you, if you <laughs> accidentally rolled in here, yeah. just, roll your, just roll yourself in here, and you can change your number. You okay. can click okay. your number and change it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Coincidentally, Delphine, you should do that. Initiative. Hey, it wasn't much better. <laughs> Put that. No. Hey, I'm at least uh, I'm ahead of one of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've got great perception, but um, no, uh, let me get it. let me get Iku. Actually, oh uh, wait, is Iku helping you guys? You want her in for this? I think she looks at you like you're going to need my help. <laughs> Iku, help. <laughs> I am. Um, I yes. am going to change something really quick. Okay, what's up? Uh, I am going to touch Velfine on the shoulder when I cast my mage armor. Okay, you're gonna put it on her instead. Yes. Okay, yeah. What does that look like? What does that look like? I was like, that's that's something cool. <laughs> uh, it's magical armor. So a sheath of bluish white light that shimmers whenever rain touches her. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Valfing, yeah, you feel this experience on you, this like tingling, this magic, and you feel protected. Uh, so what is that? What is her armor class now? 
13 plus dexterity. What's your dex, Valpine? Oh. Uh. Yeah, hey, what's your dex? Bonus? Mod, or are we doing like base dex? What's, yeah, what's the bonus? Uh, bonus is two, but her dex so, is 15. Okay, so bonus is two, so the armor is, you have 15 armor class right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you didn't already, yeah, you didn't. So yeah, you would have you would have a base armor of fifteen. Oh, Actually, nice. let me let me is, look at you. Is, is you have more wearing armor? She is wearing she is. leather armor. Yes. Is Iku wearing armor? Uh, Iku is not. Okay, so scratch that. Screw you, Velfine. <laughs> no, no. no I am she, she, I, as you go, as you go, to, as you go to cast that magic, she says, "I will not need that. Give that to someone who is more who is in more need." Is Asteria wearing armor? I uh, no. <laughs> you are? Yeah, plus I'm going to say back like you are. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to be selfish then. All right, it, yeah, she's putting it on herself. On Delphine if she's wearing <laughs> it, like, it, it, like, retracts, like, look at you. <laughs> Technically, yeah, everyone is work on Delphine not wearing, wearing armor. armor, but he doesn't need it. <laughs> he doesn't need it. Wait. Wait, <laughs> wearing armor? <laughs> his, 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 his I have my shell armor. defense thing, the natural armor. That's yeah. not armor. <laughs> it's he, he won't be able to take it. He has to take the higher number. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, guys. I, I don't think I don't think music. I don't think battle music is required. I think this. I think the fact that this is happening in a tropical storm. Yeah, is pretty intense. That's pretty so cool. Let me, let me also, so there's some other things that we have to put in place here um, since it is a heavy storm because you guys can literally barely see these people. So let me uh, let me get the heavy because this is considered heavy rain. So let me see here. Do, 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 I enjoyed do. that game. Uh, heavy rain, yeah, I know, me too. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Regular season. Give me heavy rain. Is beep 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 extremely warm and sunny, da, 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 heavy rain. Okay, yep, let's look at this and then just copy this and paste it into. So, yeah, the tropical storm comes with these rules. Um, yep, uh, rain and wind tear. So, any wisdom perception checks beyond 150 feet become blurred and are at disadvantage. Any creature outside that range is in a large. Uh, that is large or smaller gains the benefits of three quarters cover and missile weapons ranges are halved. So because it's range, any missile weapons, so any like crossbow bolts, are, their ranges are halved. There's also a one in 1,000 chance of an encounter with the glorious golden god David Cage. Challenge rating 25 encounter. Damn <laughs> 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 <Yeah. All> right. Yeah. All right. He's back. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's that's this macros. I've got this from somebody who built it, so it's all good. So yeah, it is. Um, so so yeah, range stuff has some trouble, and any creature outside this range is at a large, smaller gains benefits of three. So yeah, if you're outside, you guys are close enough though with 150 feet that um, that that wouldn't be in effect. Um, but uh, just a sec, any creature outside of this range that is large or smaller gains the benefits of three course cover and a, so actually those effects won't apply because you guys are within 150 feet of each other but know that beyond 150 feet there'll be disadvantages because of how of how the rain how the rain is pretty fucking rough so at the beginning uh we are starting with the guards and uh let me take a peek at what they got over here so you guys have some cover everyone has plus two ac um uh yeah they have uh they they wield some some mercenary guards they wield some spears in their hand so 30 feet is right there for one of them what's the range on mr spear okay if anything would be at disadvantage i got a feeling they're not reaching you anytime soon <laughs> no so he's going to he's going to take cover behind this rock here with the dash and say so like when shit's on the map you can ask me like certain stuff is going to be difficult terrain so like the uh the 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 jungle in front of you is considered difficult terrain um yeah, and stuff. would probably yeah yeah that would just be considered difficult terrain it, it's a, it's no cover but these rocks are technically considered oh, uh, a level of cover yeah uh that that this is a legit ledge so we're playing basically what it says on the map at make sure to ask me because what's on this map is going to be legit like terrain stuff because these are our maps so yeah these these two are going to move up here this one's gonna move here. They know they they can't. They're not gonna be able to hit you. So they're they're getting behind. So that's gonna give them some some decent cover. Um, that's their turn. Uh, and 
I think these two are going to take these two are going to take actions. They're going to they're these two are going to take hold actions in the back. So he's going to hold an action, and he's going to hold an action. Um, because they they didn't have to move too far to get there. Uh, so excellent. That would be uh, Asteria. You are next to go in the initiative line. Okay. Is that guy less than ninety feet away from me? Um, yeah, these guys are at cover unless you can come at a different angle than them. Like, if you can come from over here, I won't give them quite as much cover. But if it's a straight-on shot, they have pretty decent cover right now. They have a That rock is, is blocking them pretty well. Probably about as good as your canoe. Oh, yeah. These guys back here by this bigger rock probably are getting even better even better cover. They might have plus five. These guys I'm would get plus five. hex the caster. Oh, all the way in the back? Yeah, he's within range. Oh, shit! All right, yeah, he's within range. That's ninety. Yeah, that's ninety feet. Um, so you go to hex now. That's an automatic thing. Does he have to make any sign kind of save or anything? I believe oh he's God, just like, hexed. I think you can. You can click it. I think. And it'll yeah. Drop the thing. It's again. a it's a bonus action spell. Yeah, if you click the spell, it should drop. Yeah, you place a curse on a creature that you see within. Oh man, the formatting on this. Poor oh. poor roll. Anyway, the. Uh, this uh, just make it a little bit wider. <laughs> yeah, come on, guys. Come on, it's not it's not too bad. I mean, it's not too bad. You, right. you get a whole concentration of that too, right? Um, yes. It is a concentration spell, so this is the only you can only ever have one concentration spell at a time. So what I need to ask, what um, he has disadvantage on a single ability check. You make the choice. What what ability check does he have disadvantage on? He has disadvantage on ability checks made with a chosen ability. Checking all your spells. What do we got? <laughs> Charisma. How am I gonna beat this guy up harder? Dex. Dex. All right. He has disadvantage on Dex saving throws. What does? So this is your first time using the spell. What does your magic look like when it like it, it goes on him? What is this? Ha he knows the spell's been cast on him, but what does it look like? Uh, I think it's going to be my hex is a halo. Is a halo, uh, yeah. I think uh, yeah. He'll he'll look up uh, at the halo for sure, and I think he'll uh, yeah. Because I think he'll just be like, I have a caster, kill it, and uh, yeah. So it is that is your bonus action. You have a movement and an action still, Stereo. What would you like to do? Well, I'm gonna stay hunkered down behind the canoe. Um, this is in the afternoon, by the way, too. You're staying hunkered in the uh, behind the canoe. Anything okay. with your One okay, yeah. Go ahead and take a movement. Um, oh, let me get your canoe up in here, up in this hizzle. Or <laughs> shizzle my nizzle. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this dump. Let me just grab this. Copy. Asteria. Uh, just as an idea, and feel free to say no, but rather than a halo, what if it was a, a halo of thorns, like glowing thorns? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I like that. It makes it, like makes it feel more like it's less of a blessing and more of like a... <laughs> an, Fuck you! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Halo of Thorns. Where are you? Oh, you're hiding behind that stump. All right, yeah. The stump isn't very high. I, I would give you... I would I would say, yeah, you've got, you got some cover behind I it. I would Just... more range was my main thing. Okay. Excellent. So, yeah, you get all the way back there. And, yeah, you can hear his shouts. He shouted that there's a caster. Kill it. Uh, and uh, it is Iku's turn. Uh, oh, you're, oh, you're using your action. Yeah. Eldritch Blast. Well, oh, boy. <laughs> um, oh, how far away? Are you far enough for him to see? Hmm. You are far enough away for him to see. Uh, trying to think of what he'll do here. Let me look at his resources for the moment. Okay. Um, yeah, you go to cast the magic, and you watch him. A rune appears in front of him, and your spell fizzles out. He says, no. <laughs> and he, he will counterspell uh, your Eldritch Blast. Uh, that, to is not okay. suffer. that is okay. That is wasting his spell. Yep. Yeah, Ooh, <laughs> I am okay with back. this. <laughs> he saw as a caster. He saw like a, a, a like a, exactly. a spell is on him. He does not want that. He sh counters the spell. Uh, now that he he knows you're there, so he uses he uses a counter spell. Um, it is Iku's turn. Iku is uh, is going to. Who Iku? What will you do, Miss Iku? <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> 
Um, all right, she is going to, uh, she's going to wave that staff and just be like, you will be fighting at your best this day. And you see like a magic spill forth from the mouth of the little draconic, uh, the little draconic uh, wooden figure at the end. And she will go down this line and bless all three of you. So blessed. you are you are all blessed, which means you add hashtag blessed. Uh, <laughs> you add an extra D four to your rolls. I don't know if I set up your character sheets to accommodate. I did, so you can see like in, with your saving throws, it'll say like one D four bless there, like global save modifier. That's all anywhere where it says bless or guidance or something. That's to like remind you that you have it. So every down this row, uh, that would be Alexandria. Um, Valphine and War, you all are blessed by her. Um, so she will she will spend that uh, real quick. Um, to so can we check those blessed things and have that automatically apply then, or is that just a reminder? Um, one sec. Yeah, does that actually work? That'd be kind of cool. It says global oh. attack modifier, so I feel like uh, yeah. Is it, the one the before adds to your global attack modifier? So I don't want to throw I don't want to throw her her spell into here. I'm just gonna read it myself. I'm actually a little worried. Let me just because I there's like stuff I don't want the my attack to show you. Like I might as well just be like, oh by the way, here's Iku's backstory. On top of her attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, this, this is fun for you because it's not. Um, Flashbacks during combat. <laughs> Yeah, one sec. NPC name and roles hide. Okay, hopefully that just hides it. All right, cool. If this spoils something, I'm sorry. It doesn't just get over it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so bless at level one. Yeah, it's good. So it's just that. So there's bless at level one. Uh, a D4 added to the attack roll or saving throw. Either way, you guys are adding some extra stuff. So that's her. That's her action. Um, Can I try this on the character sheet real quick? Yeah, give it a shot on your character sheet if so you want to try. I'm just gonna do it. a charisma saving throw with the blessed thing. Yep, syntax error. Um, okay. Oh, it gives a syntax error. Yeah. So Interesting. It, so I checked the one d four bless like area thing. Yeah. And, th and then I rolled a charisma saving throw and it gave me that syntax error. Well, let me just look at that because that should unchecked work. it works so, fine. So. Un unchecked it works fine. Yep. Oh, so okay. it's definitely that thing. Okay, so the D4 does work. Does not. No, the oh, D4 does, does not. not. No, syntax does error. not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you type in 1D4 with the bless and the... I, I you can try that, that with the brackets? Like, put the brackets in there, too, with the with the brackets. Oh, okay, with the bless thing? Oh, look who it is! Look who's arrived just in time! <laughs> hey, yeah. It's me, save, yeah. save Stepping out of the jungle. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, God. Yeah, things are things aren't going great uh, for the party at the moment. We that just works. we got our first random encounter. That works. Oh, no. it happens to be tropical storming. We're trying. It to is tropical storming right now. Oh yeah. no! Let me get you on. Let me get you on here. Oh right. Jesus! <laughs> yeah, things are. <laughs> I almost, oh, ima I okay. almost oh. imagine Riak flew away. Like I am going to go find some fish. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding back. So this is this is actually this is actually oh and I forgot to mark another day because we're we're in well, this is actually two days into travel this right is, guys I'm keeping a day journal this is the third day of travel this is this is the third day of travel we, okay. we went two days with no encounters at a fast pace one okay. of them we traveled one hex the next one we traveled oh, two hexes yep. You're and right. then the third day we did the tropical storm didn't travel and this. <laughs> Sweet. So three days. Uh, Samuel Dren continues to die. Excellent. And... <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, we're on HP from Samuel. No, no, no. Samuel Dren. <laughs> Poor Samuel Dren. Um, so yeah, we'll get we'll get uh, let's get a uh, let's get Riak in here. So he's 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 in this battle map. So uh, we figured out how to use bless properly. Can we explain that? Yeah. Real quick. Uh, so you have to type it into the uh, area that says bless. Uh, and then check it, and then roll your your save. <clears throat> okay, cool. So just make sure that all three of you have done that because you're currently blessed. Hashtag blessed. Side of 
the that box that yes. 1d4 guidance shows in okay yep. so well uh so if it's for saving throws it's in the saving throw area the guidance Ooh. one i'm not sure how that works who is who oh, bless and departing? Type it in there. Yeah, with the, you do. So the brackets and then bless inside yep. of it. Yeah, uh, that's what I was doing. Okay.